happy fall. I'm going to make for you one of my favorite desserts of the season. So I make this pretty much from October through December. If you invite me to a fall winter party, this is what I'm bringing with me for anyone. It's a pumpkin pie with no eggs, uh, no butter, no milk, but you'll never have to tell a soul. Even your meat-eating, most carnivorous friends will like it, I promise. You'll start with a block of tofu, and then I'm adding fresh pureed pumpkin. You could also use canned if you like. Um, depends how ambitious you are and if you made it to the pumpkin patch recently. So you'll add the two together. Do you guys like my apron, by the way? This was a birthday gift from my friends Quayley, Luca, and Evan. So I've added the pureed pumpkin, the tofu, and now sugar. About three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar. And this, this is going to get noisy, so you can mute me if you want. Okay. So I've gradually added the whole block of tofu into our pumpkin tofu sugar mixture. And now I'm going to add our spices, which include ginger, um, cinnamon, cloves, and allspice, and a little salt. And I'll add that blending so it's nice and smooth. We're almost done. It's this easy. So now that our pumpkin tofu mixture is completely smooth, we're going to add it into a pie crust. Again, depending on how ambitious you are, you could make your own. And just spread around. You might have extra, and you could even make this without crust. I've used the extra and just put it in little tins and in the oven and made almost like a, a custard out of it, which is nice. I'm getting a good look. It's so good. I take pride, actually, in bringing this to parties where people are really not into tofu stuff. Not that people, you know, hey, what are the holidays for if not indulging? But you can indulge and not throw your wellness completely off track. It is possible, and this is one of the desserts that I think fits the bill. Now that our pie is super smooth, it's ready to go in the oven, where it will stay for about 50 minutes to 55 minutes. At one point, we'll turn the temperature down, but it's going to go in at 425. So I'm pretty sure our pie is complete. Put on my oven mitts. I feel like the Punky Brewster of kitchenware. <laughs> and we'll carefully take our pie out. <clears throat> Gorgeous. It's a little bit well done, but it should be browning on the top. Remember, we have whole wheat crust, so it's going to be a little bit darker. And I will let this cool and then, in fact, refrigerate it. And it tastes really, really good cold. You can have it hot or cold, but pumpkin pie, I, I, I tend to think people like it cold. Maybe we should poll our readers. In any case, have a sweet, sweet fall season.